becoming a mom, <laughs> it's probably among the most scariest things you'll ever encounter. It's natural to look for help, both medical and psychological, since oxytocin is the hormone of motherhood. Not only does she push baby out, she also gets the milk machine flowing and helps moms fall in love with their baby the instant they meet. Getting more oxytocin is one way to ease into motherhood and thanks to the biotechnology revolution, extra oxytocin is only a pinprick or a sniff away. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we weigh up the pros and cons of synthetic oxytocin. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Synthetic oxytocin is a routine part of modern childbirth. It's used to set things in motion during induction. It keeps moms pushing in augmentation and wraps things up by hastening up the delivery of the afterbirth as part of the management of the third stage of labor. So does it really help transition you into motherhood? A growing body of evidence suggests not so much. The problem, synthetic oxytocin doesn't deliver the goods quite the same way as the oxytocin produced naturally. Now don't get me wrong, chemically speaking, it would be pretty difficult to tell the two oxytocins apart. There really is very little difference between the molecules. The difference arises in their location. And location is everything. You see, oxytocin is first and foremost a brain chemical. When you're producing it, a batch is whipped up in the hypothalamus. And from here, it is shipped off to the posterior pituitary. The pituitary then takes care of distribution. Since the pituitary is deep inside the recess of your brain, a significant portion of the oxytocin produced washes through the brain. The rest leaves the building zooting around the body, hooking up with the oxytocin receptors in the uterus and in the mammary gland. The oxytocin in your body is responsible for getting baby delivered. Push, push, push. But what does the oxytocin washing through your brain do? Well, it adjusts your wiring so that you will be a good mother. So what is Mother Nature's definition of a good mother? Her definition is much the same as yours. She wants a super woman. A mom who is madly in love with her baby and in tune with her baby's every want and need, while at the same time can roll with the punches and keep it all together, even when the going is tough. And Mother Nature knows the going is tough. After all, being a mom is the hardest job in the world, especially those first few days when the hormones are all over the place. You're sore, you're tired, and you're 
overwhelmed with the responsibility of the tiny new human in your arms. It's probably worth noting. Mother Nature doesn't regard your performance at your job as relevant. In fact, she's rewired your brain to keep you focused 100% on baby. Welcome to Mommy Brain. It's real and it's physiological. Washing your brain in oxytocin is vital in transitioning to motherhood. A lot of this transition occurs during the process of birth. As you're pushing baby out, your brain is transforming. So, the moment you see and hold your baby, you're a good mom. You don't have to learn it. It's been programmed into your biology. But it depends on your brain being awash in oxytocin. And synthetic oxytocin doesn't get into your brain. Blame the blood-brain barrier. It's a blessing and a curse. It keeps all manner of things out of your brain, which protects your brain from nasty bugs and chemicals. But it can keep good things out too. In this case, the synthetic oxytocin is injected into the blood where it can get to work, pushing baby at the first drops of milk out, but it struggles to penetrate mom's brain fortress. Very little, if anything, gets through. This failure impacts the wiring. You're not wired for motherhood, making being a good mom more difficult. It's kind of ironic. Synthetic oxytocin makes becoming a mom a little easier. But being a mom, a little harder. Since you're a mom for ever, it might be prudent to forego the extra help at the time of birth and do it naturally. The brain surge of oxytocin will give you the superpowers you need to cope with motherhood after the birth and a lifetime of better body chemistry. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry so you optimize your health and the health of your family? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com. Browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who is expecting? Share this video with them so they understand the pros and cons of using synthetic oxytocin. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.